Oh, no. My boss wants me to find the percent of change from profit numbers from last year to this year. And I don't know what to do. If I don't figure this out, he's gonna fire me. Ah! Here I come to save the day. Here, Dana the Explainer will teach you. To find the percent of change of your numbers, you just have to take the change that your numbers made, divide by the original, and multiply by 100. Yay, you won't get fired. Yay! To calculate the percent of change between two numbers, you can set up a proportion. So you can look at how your numbers change, what do they go up by or what do they go down by, and then divide by whatever the original is. And then it's equal to what we're solving, the percentage over 100. So we're always solving for this variable to find the percent in which your numbers have changed. And then you always decide, did my numbers increase or decrease? In this example, Chris has decided to dress up like a girl for Halloween. He originally is 60 inches tall. But in his Halloween costume, with his high heels, he is now 64 inches tall. Let's find the percent of change in which his height has increased. So, here's our formula. We first have to find the change. Just how much did our numbers change? So this one's an easy one. We just have 60 and 64. I always take just the largest one. Subtract the smallest one, 64 minus 60. It changed 4 inches. And here was an original 60 inches equals x over 100. It's over 100 because we're dealing with a percent. And now we can cross multiply to solve. 4 times 100 is 400 equals 60 times x. And now divide both sides by 60 to find the percent. His height increased by about 6.7 percent and then you always want to say whether it was an increase or decrease and in this case a 6.7 percent increase in his height after he put his heels on. In this example, Jenna started with 32 teeth, but she went trick-or-treating, ate all of her candy in one night, and didn't brush her teeth. So now she's down to 25 teeth. What is the percent of change of her teeth? So we first find the change, and I always make my change positive. Um, it doesn't matter, it's just your final answer. You never write a percentage as negative. So I always try to keep it positive. So with the change, I just take the larger number and subtract. 32 minus 25. So there's a change of 7 teeth. And she started with 32 teeth. And we want to find the percentage over 100. So cross multiply. 7 times 100 is 700 equals 32x and then divide both sides by 32 which is about 21.9 and this is a percent and then you want to show that since the number of teeth went down that it is a decrease 21.9% decrease of her teeth. In this example, Junior took a test, and he got a 66% on that test. Well, good thing he has the nicest teacher in the world, and his teacher let him retake the test. However, Junior didn't study for the new test, and he did even worse and got a 30%. Oh, no. 
what is the percent of change of his two test scores? So from 66 to 30, if you subtract, there was a change of a 36%. It went down 36%. The original is 66 equals x over 100. Let's cross multiply. 66 times x equals 100 times 36, 3600. And now divide both sides by 66. which equals a 54.5% and it is a decrease. 54.5% decrease. I hope that never happens to anyone in this class. Here we have two numbers. The original is 9.8 and the new is 12.1. I want you to try on your own to find the percent of change. You should have gotten a 23.5% increase. I hope you got it right. Now let's do some story problems. When the first U.S. Census was taken in the year 1790, the population was 3,929,200. In the year 2000, the population was 281,421,906. We want to find the percent of change and round to the nearest whole percent. So percent of change, we first need to just find the change. How much did it change by? So we're going to subtract our original population from the first census from our new population in 2000. The change is 277,492,706. So we have to take that, divide it by the original, and then set up our proportion to find the percentage. Cross multiply to solve for x. And now divide. You should get that x equals 7,062.3. So our population increased by over 7,000%. And obviously it's an increase. So there's our percent of change in our population from 1790 to 2000. In 1967, there were 3,384 drive-in movie theaters in the United States. In 1997, there were only 619 drive-in theaters. I want you to pause the video and see if you can find the percent of change on your own. You should have gotten that the drive-in movie theaters had an 81.7% decrease. Now, one more story problem that's going to be set up a little bit different. Instead of solving for the percent, I'm going to give you the percent and we have to solve for the original amount. And our last example is says, a recent percent of increase in tuition at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois was 5.4%. So this time we have the percent of increase. If the new cost of tuition is $33,408 per year, find the original cost. So I modified the um, formula a little bit. All I did was Instead of writing the word change over original, I broke up what the change means. Change is you're just doing the subtraction. The new value minus the original. We always divide by original and then equals percent over 100. So I'm going to plug in all the information that I know, and then we'll see what that looks like. 
the new is 33,408. We have to find the original, so minus x over the original, which is x, equals the percent, which is 5.4, over 100. So it looks complicated because we have x in two different spots, but we can cross multiply. So this is 5.4x equals 100 times that whole quantity. So 100 times 33,408 minus x. So we have to distribute the 100 and then solve from there. I now have to get my variables onto one side, so I'm going to add 100x on both sides. And now I can divide both sides by this 105.4. Divide by 105.4. And you should get that x equals 31,000. 696 and 39 cents. So what this is saying, we just found the original amount. This is what the tuition was at Northwestern. But after a 5.4% increase, it was now $33,408 per year. So there's your lesson on a percent of change and using proportions to solve our problems. Good luck with the lesson.